Hey, what's going on, YT? It is your girl, Leah Ray, and you're tuned into The Leah Ray Show. So, I wanted to come on here and do a little review for you. Where you at, Sarcas? Because Taco Bell, which is like my favorite fast food restaurant, has come out. And I don't know how long it's been out because I don't necessarily eat or go get the latest items every time they drop. But if I am out and about and I do know that something new has come out, your girl will get it. And I was out and about today and I saw on the menu that our Taco Bell around here had brought back the loaded nacho fries. Now, I never had the nacho fries, like loaded nacho fries. If they came out before, I never had them. Um, so now I'm eager to try them. I also got my free Doritos Loco Taco because you know, that was like something they had going on with the NBA in the playoffs. So I did get that free. And then I got a vegetarian burrito from the value menu that I customized because I wanted to try their like potato option because I love tater tots. But, and then I got, I got a lot of food, but I'm not gonna eat all this food. But then I got a loaded, nacho burrito or the burrito nacho loaded something anyway it it's the fries loaded on a burrito so we're gonna try that but let's um first take a look at the loaded nacho fries i don't know what it is about taco bell my mom likes taco bell a lot adrian he do not care about no taco bell i i'm like you just trying to go against the grain because taco bell is good and forgive me if I'm always looking to the left because I had to flip my camera on its other side. But here we go. Here is what the nachos, here's what they look like. Okay, here we go. I did get some extra sour cream, but I didn't want to put any sour cream or anything on them just yet because I want to try them as is. Did not bring the fork, but I'm gonna just go ahead and get into it because I'm not eating all this anyway. I don't know how I'm gonna get all the stuff. We're gonna make it do what it do. What is this? Um, I guess that's like a Doritos Locos Taco. Enough here, even though it's gonna be messy, to get a good bite. Do you guys see that? Let me make sure I get some of that Doritos Loco right there on top. And here is the first bite, y'all. Mm. Okay, so the lettuce. It's not giving me a good crunch. It's not partic It's not old lettuce per se, but it ain't ultra fresh. The tomatoes are good. Well, let me go back. The tomatoes are a little soft, y'all. Now, this right here, the Doritos Loco little chips or whatever, not crunchy. Totally chewy. And I wouldn't even say they were stale because when they're stale, it's like hard to chew. These are not hard to chew. They're just chewy. There's no crunch to them. As far as the cheese, the cheese is melted and that's fine. Um, the fries, I can taste the seasoning on the fries, but not really when I eat it all together. Yeah, and I think once all the stuff is on there, it kind of like overpowers everything. So I'm gonna try to get another bite. No fork. I taste more of the seasoning of the meat, the ground beef than I do that um seasoning that's actually on the french fries but i mean they're good but what if i had the option to get either their loaded nachos or the loaded um nacho fries i would just get the regular no loaded nachos because at least you'll get that real crunch honestly y'all i would say if i was rating this according to five stars i would give these a two y'all even the french fries have no um to them and i know that i didn't eat them when they were fresh out of the restaurant but still if everything is popping and everything is right and everything is fresh, you will still be able to gauge what that first taste is like. I mean, that first bite is like, I'm just like unimpressed, y'all. Totally, totally unimpressed. Am I going to eat them? Yes. Are they terrible? No. But again, I will opt for the nachos every single time. I'm glad I got to try it though. The next thing I wanted to give a try is this burrito. The loaded nachos fries is just the burrito. I'm going to, I got my sour cream over here that I'm actually going to open because I love sour cream. I really like sour cream on my, um, on those. I I'm going to put sour cream on those fries too because I just, anything I'm eating, Mexican food, whatever, it gotta have sour cream. But I wanna take a bite of this without the sour cream to see how it goes. All right. And I know that initial bite is probably gonna have a lot of bread. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna try to get in from the side. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna try to go for like a huge bite so I can get a taste of everything.
No crunch, y'all. I don't know what to say. Essentially, it's the loaded nacho fries on a tortilla. That's all it is. But it's the same crunch disappointment. I mean, actually, tortillas are overpowering. So you really have to have what you have inside the tortilla seasoned up very nicely. And while I am picking up on the flowers of the ground beef, and when I get to this side of the tortilla, that's where all my taco fries, I mean, my nacho fries were. So I can taste the seasoning. But this actually tastes better just by itself. It didn't even need the whole burrito situation. I would even go so far as to say that the burrito takes away from the actual wrap, takes away from the fries. Right. Let me try something else I got. So the next thing I picked up, this is, oh, this is from the vegetarian menu. And it's a taco, but it has potatoes in it. And let me just show you what's in the inside. So this is what it looks like. Presentation is garbage, but you know, what can you expect? It's Taco Bell. So let's taste this. That sauce that they have in there, it got a kick to it. I really, really like it. Uh-oh, almost lost the potato. And actually, this is really good, but it needs way more potatoes. Like, I shouldn't be able to lap this over like this. I know it was only like a dollar, but I'm just saying. I would pay $2. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should ask for double potatoes and just pay an extra dollar. I feel like it needs some cheese. Like, even though they have that sauce on there, the cheese to act as the glue to hold everything together. And then I have my Doritos Locos Taco. And then this was, I believe, a burrito. Oh, this is a nacho taco. I forgot that I got this. So now, here comes the soft taco version of the loaded nacho fries. So everything that's in the loaded nacho fries in here as a taco, I know it's not going to be a difference, a big difference. I'm going to just go ahead and take this first bite just to be doing it. Hmm. Actually, I like it in the taco better because you don't get that tortilla wrapped around itself and you get all the extra bread. At least this way you could taste more of what's inside the taco as opposed to the wrapping or the breading that's holding the taco together. So if you do want to try the loaded nacho taco, do the taco over the burrito. And before this turns into a soft taco, it probably already is, I'm gonna go ahead and take that bite of that Doritos Locos taco because this is courtesy of Taco Bell and the NBA due to whoever was down coming back. And I could already tell this is about to be a disaster and the bottom is gonna fall out because it's already soft. That's the one thing about Taco Bell, you gotta eat it immediately. If you don't eat it right away, it is over with. So, the crunch that you heard was from the top of the taco shell, not the bottom. This part is super sus. And this, this Taco Bell is literally like right around the corner. I'm done with that. I'm about to go inside, find some way to wash my hands. Dang, I haven't had a Doritos Local Taco in a minute and it really packs a punch. But in the comment section below, people, let me know if you tried the new loaded nacho burrito and the new loaded nacho fries and the new loaded nacho taco. If you have not, do not let my reviews deter you. Please go try them for yourself and then come back on this video and let me know in the comment section how you felt about them. Oh, oh, oh.